just like you got Isnad, yeah? Right. You have oral tradition at the beginning, and they recite the Quran, yeah? And then the families, they pass it down, and then they write the Quran, and you know, this family, that family, and it's brought down like this, that is true teaching. We have that in the Eastern Orthodox Church. Let's pick on the Gospel of Matthew. Why do you believe it's true? Yes, no. because my question is a very simple question. Go on, then. Why do you, if the Gospel of Matthew contains historical error, yeah, is it still reliable? If the Bible, anywhere in the Bible, writes history that did not happen and you can prove that did not happen, then I will not be a Christian today. I'll give you a prime example. I'll give you a prime example. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to use it. You know when the... You need to have a conversation. This is part... No, but this is... Let me finish my point, then you No, I'm emphasising and ramming home my point. So, for example, when Moses went to the sea, to part the sea, what did Allah say to Moses, sorry? Strike the water with your stick. So he had to make the effort. He had to make the move. Then Allah parted the sea. All right. So... You have to make your moves and Allah will make his moves. Absolutely. If you don't make a move, Allah will make his move. Halas. Very That's easy. That's why you was ready. You made your move. You spoke to some Muslim brothers and you was ready and uh, and you felt the truth. No, there's a difference in this day and age. I'll tell you why. Because we're in, we live in the information age and we live in a digital age and we believe in Xbox generation. So basically... Um, Hocus pocus, you know, uh, miracles these days. For, for us, you're not going to give us nothing. I, I, I watched a program where they did, did all the miracles of Jesus. Turned water to vodka and coffee and this and that. Walked on water, did everything. Parlor tricks. You can you can see today that it's not going to convince nobody. But it's the mind. So, like people said to me, you don't want to be Muslim. Then they say it to me, you don't want to be Muslim. Do you know what my response is? Why would I want to be a Muslim? No, no, but why would I want to be a Muslim? Right. So, when I became a Muslim, I didn't want to become a Muslim. Yeah. But my intellect said to me, it's the truth and you have to. Okay, your insight. My intellect. Your intellect. Yeah. Okay. Because you have the intellect here, you, you have intellect. intellect, yeah, you, you have your desires, yeah, yeah. and you have your heart. Yeah. To become a Muslim, all three need to align. Okay. Yeah. okay. So let's get on to, because we're going around. So let's, can I go to Fatima? I'm not really, sir, because we're going in a straight line. No, no, not really. No, because uh, we can go, it can go deeper than that, because your intellect can actually mislead you. So I don't want to get into that right no, now. No, 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 no. But, in, but in, how can the intellect mislead me? How has my intellect misled me? Because you can convince yourself many things using your intellect. You Give me exactly. Rationalize yourself into Give me an example. Things. Give me an example. All right. Give me an example well, of using an internet you could, you to rationalize into a position that you know is wrong or false. Well, you could uh, so meet a girl and she's really nice and you really like her and you, you decide you want to marry her, but something inside saying to you, no, it's not right. But you think, well, she's this, she's that, she does this, she can cook, she can do this. She suits just right as a wife. Now, you've rationally, intellectually decided she is suitable for your lifestyle and compatibility with you. But have you checked in if there is genuine love there? So your intellect has love misled you. There's no such thing as love. Unconditional There's love. No such thing unconditional, as unconditional love. Unconditional love. No such thing. So you don't unconditionally love uh, the, uh, Allah. Unconditionally, I love Allah because He guides and creates. You love Allah unconditionally. Unconditionally. Yeah. No. No. You don't love him unconditionally. No, I love Allah for what He's done for me. That's conditional. So there's conditions. Yes. To love Him. Yes. Of course there is. So there's a condition. So you got conditions for yes. why you would love Allah. Of course. Have you? Would you say the same? Is that how you feel? Wouldn't that make sense? I honestly don't. No. Okay. If Allah says He's going to gonna love put... someone, all right. If Allah says genuinely any... to love someone, Stop you would love him unconditionally. If, if, if... Oh, okay. So if Allah, so if, oh, all right. and you wouldn't even have to roll your eyes up there to think about. It. All right. Okay. If Allah says He's going to put me in hellfire, should I still love Him? Yes. Why? Because if that's the will of God, then that's what you should do. Why should I love that? Because He knows better for you. But why should I love that? Because He's because you're you're putting yourself first and not what God. But wants. why should I love that? You're asking the question about me. No, you should love God. God, you love God. No, why, 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 love the, no, 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 no. Well, no, why should I love being put in hellfire? Why should I love the one who's put me in hellfire? Because he's the one that knows which is best for you. No, but why should I love? The, all right, now here's your problem. You see, you're ultimately. No, no, because your paradigm collapses. Yeah. 
yeah? Because I love Allah because he's I love Allah because he promised paradise. Yeah. So you're selfish. Yes. Exactly. What's the so, point? So love for me is not being selfish. Who do you love unconditionally? I don't love. Who I do don't. you love unconditionally? Uh, I love God. You love God unconditionally? Yes. Really? Yes. How do you worship God? I bow my head down. I pray like Eastern oh, let, 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 let me finish. No, let me finish talking. Uh, how do you mean worship you God? Yeah, so yeah. Let me finish. Isn't, oh, God, isn't that right? Okay, Be really. respectful. I'm respectful. You asked me how I pray. I, I didn't I bow, ask how you pray. I, bow, bow. I didn't ask how you pray. What did you ask? I, I said, said, how do you worship God? How I worship him. Sorry, yeah, you're right. I, I put my, I bow my head down to the ground. I pray with my heart. All right? Sometimes not necessarily with words. And always willing and want to know and ask to follow God's will. Alhamdulillah. Unconditionally, and I love. How God do you know that's God? Unconditionally. Right. How do you now, know? How do you know the way you worship God is I the correct way? I don't love God because I want to be greedy because I want to go in paradise. Really? Or yeah, I'm. Why do you love God? I don't know. No, I don't. Go, I don't love God for fear of hell right. or for greed of paradise. Why do you love God? I love God because of an inbuilt feeling. A supernatural feeling within my heart. It's a supernatural feeling right, within my heart. So, so your condition is like this. Is like this. What does that mean? Is like I tell you. It's like you've never tasted honey. For example, assume you've never tasted honey in your life. I take honey, and you're explaining to me. You're asking me what does ta honey taste like. Without you tasting it, I cannot explain it to words. I cannot give you rational words. So you you don't to direct right, okay, you to know. Oh, oh, exactly. oh, okay. Because I'm going to tell you now, you're a liar. You don't love God. Okay. Because if you if you love if you if you loved God truly, yeah. you wouldn't ignore his messengers. What you do? Well, I love God, I'm a human being. You ignore his messengers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Exactly. And I need him to save me. Because that's my human condition. No, you missed a point. No, 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 wait a minute. You asked me a question. Let me finish my question. No, I didn't make a ask question. I, I made a claim. Alright, you make a claim, right? Yeah, so I don't agree with you. Do you, no, do you I agree with you, sorry, I agree with you that yes, I feel sure. Of the glory of God. Right, right. So, I, you, so you believe. Being, so you believe. You I'm love. Not, a, I'm a God. human being. And right. I've got limitations. Okay, okay. I'm not perfect. All right. So you're saying to me, you love God, yet you ignore what He says. I don't ignore. I try and follow every day to follow God's will, but I fall short of that because I'm a human. Just give me one second. Sorry, Matt. It's been a pleasure. Okay, give my love to Manchester as you pass it, please. <laughs> okay. Right, right. right. Listen, you you can you we, ignore can we agree, God. Sir? Can we agree, sir? What would you like to agree? If you ask me questions, let me finish. If I ask you a question, I'll let you finish. We'll agree. That's nice. Carry on, sir. Uh, okay. I've not asked questions. I'm making claims. Right. Oh. You can't make the claim you love God if you ignore God. Standard. I don't believe. You might believe you can. As you like. But I think you're lying. Lying to yourself. Because if you loved God, you want to know everything God's got to tell you. You want to know everything. If this guy claims to be a messenger of God, you want to know what that message is. You don't ignore the message. So you're lying to yourself, I believe. So that's your opinion, yeah? Yes. Okay. Doesn't necessarily mean that's fact what you've just said. That is your opinion, how you look at these things, yeah? Do you believe ignoring someone you love is loving them? I don't think, yeah, no, that's not, no, that's right. not love, that's not love, you've got to, you mustn't ignore You must ignore them. No, that's right. right. Do you ignore God? No, I don't. Right, so when God sends messengers, you ignore that message, are you ignoring God? No, what, what's the question? If God sends messengers and you ignore those messengers, are you ignoring God? No. No? I'm not ignoring them. Really? Yeah. So There's a difference between not doing what they say no, no, no. and ignoring what no, no, no. they say. Oh, okay. Ignoring the message. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. So God sends a messenger with a message, yeah. and you ignore the message. Yeah. You're ignore, ignoring God, if aren't you? you? Ignore the message. You're ignoring if you ignore God. the message, you're ignoring God. And if you ignore you God, and if you ignore God, that then you're not really loving. You're not Correct. loving him. Correct. Right. Do you ignore Muhammad? Yes. Right. Therefore, you ignore God. Therefore, you don't love Him. Because Therefore, you yes. lied to yourself. Because, because you believe that Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is. Yes. The messenger of God. Yes. Where well, I don't believe. I that. know you don't. Why not? So in your in your belief, you're right. Uh, my love for God, for what you believe, is not perfect. But no, 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 me, no, no. Your love for God is non-existent if you ignore His message. Clearly. Correct. Right, right. In so the belief, only problem we got now is in your belief. Right. No, no. But in my no, belief, no, in your belief. If I'm a Christian, no, in your belief. And that one minute, if I, in, in, as a Christian, if I 
right. try to follow Jesus' teachings. All right. Try not to ignore them. All right. What teachings? And, uh, right, one, to love, love thy neighbour. How do you know what neighbor. Jesus taught? One minute, that's another question. Let me finish. All right, go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. That's coming. So when... when love thy God with all thy heart. Thy yeah, soul, yeah, love thy yeah. So, 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 that's the law and the Right. So if we follow that... Heart, soul and mind. You said to me, not to be rude. You know, you're looking over there. So, when I follow that and I try my best and I fall short and I repent and I pray and I get up every morning and I try again and I fall and I do and I, I'm trying to that means I love God in my belief so we've got a problem here two different beliefs where we alright let, let's do one thing then right now then but I wanted to go and say no no alright alright so, right. so let, let's allow the caveat let's imagine now Muhammad you don't believe he's a messenger of God therefore if you don't believe he's a messenger of God you don't need to follow that message therefore you're not ignoring in God, therefore you do love God because you're following the message of Jesus. Fair enough? My God, yeah. yeah. How do you know what Jesus said? Through the Gospels. Why do you believe what and they say? also, wait a minute, number one, through the, through the Eastern Orthodox Church, the teachings that were brought down, and from the Gospels. Why do you believe what the Gospels say? Sorry? Why do you believe what well, the Gospels say? Yeah, so you must be Why do you believe what the Gospels well, say? Sure be <laughs> <laughs> because... Uh, there's a, there are many reasons why. Because number one of them, there's a lot of historical evidence is for that. Which historical evidence? Well, for example, if you pick out from the Quran things you want to stop, say, stop, 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 All right, Islam has got nothing to do with this conversation. <laughs> Therefore, the Quran's got nothing to do with this conversation. No, there is nothing, nothing. nothing. <laughs> what you believe has nothing to do with the Quran. We've all, no, no, no. All right. What we've already clarified is you don't believe Muhammad's a messenger, therefore you don't have to follow the message, therefore you love God because you ignore that and it's false prophet. I get that. I understand that. So don't bring what he brought into the conversation. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And we're talking about your side right now. So don't bring that into the table. It's got nothing to do with the conversation. No, there is no example to use. Your belief. My belief's got nothing to do with what you believe. My belief has nothing to do with what you believe. Nothing. Because I'm trying to distinguish why we go different. What he believes has nothing to do. No, 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 no. What he believes, I have to address this. What he believes has nothing to do with what the Quran says. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Does he believe the Quran is a sort of reliable source of information? Do you believe what the Quran Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You're saying what he says and he's not agreeing with you. So please just leave it right now. All right. So what I'm saying to you is this. The Quran has nothing to do. I ask you a simple question. You say the Gospels tell you what Jesus said. Why do you believe what the Gospels say? That's my point. Because now, going to the Quran or the Hadith ain't going to help answer that question. Because I follow what was passed down from the Eastern Orthodox Church. You said that. Down through the holy tradition. My question is about the, the Gospels. Yeah, not the tradition, man. What they teach in the church. I get that. From day one up to now. I'm talking about the Gospels. With the eyewitnesses, just like. Talk about the Gospels. <laughs> and from the Gospels. Let's stay on the Gospels. Why? Because that's what you're quoting. Well, where else did it talk about what Jesus did? Exactly, and this is what my point is, but are you going to interrupt me when I talk to you now? Well, please, very uh, 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 okay. If I ask you a question about the Gospels... <clears throat> exactly. And this all right, is how does the Eastern Orthodox Church quantify the Gospels are correct? I'll tell you. Go on. Transmit as we just, like, just relax a second. Like, <laughs> we're talking nice, man. Respect. Well, could you, have a, could you speak to your fellow Christians without <laughs> interrupting and changing the just, topics? Just stop me to interrupt and I'll tell you something. <laughs> if you want a conversation, I'll have a conversation. Yeah. No problem. Stop interrupting Take a ticket. After him, no problem. Oh, Stop interrupting me and talking to him. No, I have to end this. Right, go on. Just like you have got Ismat. The Muslims have got Islam. Please don't interrupt me. If you let me finish my point, we're going to get there quicker. If you keep interrupting, we're going to get there, man. Can you just leave Islam off the table? No, no, no. I want, I want to answer the way I want to answer. And if you don't like it, that's fair enough. Just like because when I bring that example in, it'll under, you'll understand the example. Go on, then. Go on then. Answering it, how do I know that is why Go on, I then. Go on then. But Just like you've got Islam, yeah? Right. You have oral tradition at the beginning, and they recite the Quran, yeah? And then the families, they pass it down. And then they wrote the Quran, and you know this family, that family, and it's brought down like this. That is true teaching. We have that in the Eastern Orthodox Church. There was oral tradition. There were people that, <coughs> at the time, they could uh, memorize the New Testament. 
and the sayings of Jesus, eyewitnesses, it was passed down and it was put, and they're the ones that decided to put the Bible together. That's how we know. <coughs> Shaitan. Shaitan trying to make me squat, you know. Did, did I make myself clear? No, you didn't ask my question. Your question was, how do I know that that is the true... That wasn't my question. What was your point? See, I was trying to stop you answering the wrong question. <coughs> but you can say, let you finish, I'll let you finish. All right, I'll say it again to you. Why do you believe the Gospels are a reliable source of information? Because of what... Well, that is my answer. No, but you, the, you, but no, but you just use the Ethan Orthodox Church no, no, using no, no, the no, Gospels. No, yeah, yeah, no, wait a minute, because he's from... No, I answered your question, but let me... It was the teachers were brought down to this altar. They were the ones that put the Bible together, and that's why it's being thread. Now, the the, the monks, what was brought? The monks. What was brought? The, the, the Gospels. Right, right. So stop there. So before, so the Orthodox, Ethan Orthodox Church is here, and the Gospels come to them. Why are they reliable? Because they had holy tradition. They had like like his No, no, no. Check. This is before they've arrived. No, 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 at the, this is go. before they've arrived. No, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go on. As I said to you, just like you got his neck, to verify certain things that were put in the Quran, verify things, this is how we have it in the Orthodox Church, the holy tradition where we know from the sayings of Jesus, right at the very beginning, when they went in the houses after the resurrection, they were talking, Jesus said this, Jesus said that, eyewitnesses around, it was verified, then you had the, the, oh, okay, the bishops. Well, okay, no, right. no, you're going to interrupt me again. Let me finish. You're not answering my question. Please, no, no, let me finish right, my question. Finish it, finish it. So then they were put together, and then you have the Bible, they put together the Gospels like this. Then, right after that, you have, uh, I forgot what I was going to say, because you interrupt my line of thought. Okay. You interrupt my line of thought. Alright. Are you going to answer my question? And before you, when you get to say something, I'm going to remember now. So we had this, uh, oh, and then you can even put from the different quotes, from the different oh. monks and from the oh, no, don't early say church it. Don't fathers, say it, don't say it. Don't say it, please. You can put most of the Bible together. Who told you that? <laughs> He's from the Dutch church. <laughs> okay, that claim has been debunked. All right, you can't take the. You Who can't... debunked this? Some scholars, two thousand years later. Yes. Nineteen five. You want them to go back to? Yeah, you want them to go. Back okay, who made the who made the claim? Anyway, who who made the claim? I did answer your question. No. Why? Okay, because. I don't think you're hearing my question. Because the Ethan Orthodox Church used the Gospels to put the Bible together, yes? No, they put the sayings together. The reverse. They put it together. They put the Gospels together. They came out of the church to be read in the church. Are you saying that the, the Ethan yeah, Orthodox... How did they come out of the church? Who is the church at the time? Who was the church? So are you saying that the... the all right, just, just, just so I understand. So you're saying the Ethan Orthodox Church put the Gospels together? The early church fathers at the time, the very early church, of course, who put it together? Did it come out of the sky? Right. It didn't come out right, of the sky. Right, right, right. So just so I, I'm trying to understand what's who going on here. The the so the Gospel of Matthew, was that put together by the Eastern Orthodox Church or was it authored by Matthew? From the, from the original church, yes, from the, from the Eastern... No, Matthew wrote it, yeah. Oh, Matthew wrote it? Yeah, he wrote it. So whose words are they? Inspired from God. No, no. God's right, right. So you're saying, words. So they were. So Matthew wrote it. God's, yeah, right, right. God's so Matthew wrote it, inspired by God, and then the Eastern Orthodox Church put that. The eyewitnesses put that. They decide which book goes into the Bible, and right. So they basically. It so they. So they looked at the Gospel of Matthew. All right. So they looked at the Gospel of Matthew. How do you think Matthew? Why don't you ask the question? How did Matthew know to write down all these things? Where did he get all these signs from? Answer me. All right. So I'm going before Matthew. All right. All right. I'm going before Matthew. All right. Holy all right, all right. You're given more evidence than he can. All right. I'm giving you his support. Thank you, sir. Right. So, right. so, just so I can understand. Please, yeah. You see, now you're answering my question. No, I answered about 10 minutes ago. For the very question, can we, can we rewind? And we can make yeah. Yeah, please do rewind because the question that was asked was why does he believe what the Gospels say and it's continuously gone on about how the church used the Gospels yeah the now, same, the right same. right so let's pick on the Gospel of Matthew why do you believe it's true as I said they had the holy tradition 
they t not not traditions where there's enough time for them to be infected and um, corrupted. At the time, there was eyewitnesses around, people around, families around, just like in so, Isnat, right. when you have Isnat, and when they, when they know the sayings of Jesus, right. and then like Matthew, right. collect so, the sayings, yes, good, to good. be verified by the people, and then they put them together. All right, all right. So just so I understand this claim, you're saying Matthew wrote a gospel about what occurred, right? And then what happened, the Eastern Orthodox Church received this gospel. And then what they did, they got eyewitnesses to verify everything Matthew wrote, to confirm it was true. At the time, there were the people there, there were the early... No, 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 is that your claim? No. At the, the early church was in existence was before Matthew. Yeah, it was simultaneous. Matthew was after, it was about 50 years. No, no. Who wrote the Gospel of Matthew? Matthew. And who verified it? Sacred tradition in the church. Yes. And how did they do that verification? Holy tradition. Because it came from within them. They were the ones who scribed it. Did they make any they errors? Transferred it. Now, when, when you say errors, this is very important because you you guys, you always come and speak to Christians, oh, what version of the Bible you got? Oh, NIV, is oh, is it, which is the what correct... What time are you, my man? Is it the correct version, NIV, or the common Bible, which one? But we're going for, look at the original Greek. Mm. The early church father... What's your name, my friend? So, Koinite Greek. What's your name? George. George? We spoke before. Do me a favour, put that red herring back in your pocket. Why? Because I didn't mention nothing like this. Oh, sorry, you're a straw, your straw man. I didn't mention New Testament, King James, NIV, and nothing. There's nothing to do with what we're talking I'm, about. I'm mentioning it. Yeah, but there's nothing to do with what we're talking about. I'm telling you because I know where you're going. You, the original manuscripts of the New Testament was in Greek. Mm. All right? So the Eastern Orthodox Church have the, the original Greek manuscripts. So? Mm. What does that so prove? What does that prove? Well, that what, what if the original's a lie in Greek and you, you copied it from me, a lie? You said to me, your question was, was yes. there any mistakes? No, I said, what if there was a mistake? There is mistakes. There is mistakes. But, yeah, but not doctrinal mistakes. These are scribal errors. Say you've got 4,000 horses on another manuscript that came later on, that have copied and copied and copied, because you have thousands and thousands of manuscripts distributed all around the Middle East, all around the, the world, the existing world, the known world at the time. You'll have, at the end of page, oh, 400. He's missed the zeros, for example. It'd be scribe wearers, but not doctrinal wearers. Okay, doctrines. Uh, uh, okay. Though. The New so Testament. We know no, okay. No mistakes. First thing, but the, we know there's no mistakes because but even that's a red herring. Because we know that all traditions first, are passed first thing, to the people. First thing, the teachings of Christianity do not come out of the Gospels. Yeah, they come out later. No. Yeah, yeah they do. Teaching of Christianity okay. came yeah. before. But I'm not going to. No, the teachers. Not, of, no, 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 no. 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 Yeah, Sorry, when did God become a Trinity? Did you when did God become a Trinity? Come. When did the teachings of Trinity come? Wait a, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Slowly. 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 The I don't want to deflect to that. I don't want to deflect to that. No, because you don't want to go there. No, no, no. Because I don't need to right now. The teachings. I don't need to right now. I don't need to right now. I don't need to right now. I don't need to. George, George, George. Your gos. Your gos. Your gos. You go down the road. Your gos. You reverse back. No, no, no. No, what it is, I realize. Why do you reverse back? Shall I explain? Through. Shall I explain? Yeah. I'll explain. Because we were on a, a journey and there was a side stop, yeah? And when we stopped there, you wanted to go onto the mountains, right? Well, I want to continue on this journey. No. So, yes, yes. No. Because my question is a very s simple question. Why do you, if the Gospel of Matthew contains historical error, yeah? Is it still reliable? That doesn't have. What do you mean by historical error? Okay, it writes. I told you, it writes history that did, okay. it doesn't have historical. If it error. writes history that didn't and happen, even architectural. Stuff. If it writes history that didn't happen, yeah. Then what? For instance, there is no. If there, if the Bible anywhere in the Bible writes history that did not happen, and you can prove that did not happen, then I will not be a Christian today. Really? Yeah. All right. So, talk to me about King Herod and the census. Yeah. I don't know about King Herod and the census. Killing the babies and stuff. Yeah, what about you, that? Do you know about it? Yeah, yeah, what about it? Yeah, yeah. Do you believe that happens? Oh, one minute. Before you go on to that, you said now, we're going on the road. How do I know the Bible's correct? How do I know if there's any errors? I didn't say that. Blah, blah. No, 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 no. Then you say, well, I'm going off on a, on a side road. What is this? This is a side road. Yorgas, listen. Huh. My first question was what? You gotta let me to ask you questions. No, 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 but you yeah. no disrespect. But what you just said was that's a nonsense, because I'll explain it to you. What is a nonsense? What you just said. What? Going off into a side There's road. No, alright. Because what we're doing is this. It might, right? First of all, we're digging into the New Testament. And then I, I alienated the Gospel of Matthew. And now we're drilling into Matthew. How is that a side road? We're going down. Alright, because you're going now 
right? What you're doing, you want to start picking off on other things like Herod and other historical No, no, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And all this. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. So, you know, it's not a surprise when it happens. <laughs> all right? Yeah? I'm going to show you that your assumption that the authors of the Gospels were disciples, that Matthew was apparently a disciple of Jesus, yep. that the idea that they witnessed everything they wrote, yeah, and the idea that they were inspired by God, have no foundation. I'm going to show you their false assumptions. You're entitled to your opinion, of course. No, no, I'm going to show you. Go on, then. Right. So how do I do that? I have to look at the claims made, isn't it? So let's start with the first but claim. Let me ask you something Go on. before you carry on. Go on. Thank you. So... You can, we can talk for about, give it a few minutes, but then you've got to allow me to ask you questions as well, yeah? About what? Two ways, three. About the historicity, evidences, and things like this, which I have a problem with the, the Quran, the Muslim faith. No, that's a completely different topic. I mean, that's not just a side road, that's another agreed. journey. We never agreed we were going to talk about any kind of, we're just having a free, no, no, no. A the, free talking discussion. No, 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 no. what happened? We never had an agenda. No, no, no. Do you remember the trajectory? I'll tell you the trajectory. Right. Your initial claim was you love God. And to ignore God, you shouldn't ignore God. And because you believe Muhammad is a false prophet, that means you're not ignoring God because you don't believe it's a message from God. So I allowed that. So we part that up. Now you still claim you love God and you and you and you you love God by following His message. The next question was, how do you know what His message is? We came to the New Testament. From the New Testament, we came to the Gospel of Matthew, and now we're testing the veracity of these gospels. Yeah. And right, this is right. Why That's the topic. I want to ask one question when you're ready. You can ask one question. About these, no problem. About something like that. I really appreciate it if you let me. Uh, but you okay. finish and uh, 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 Okay. So. The idea is that, look... Now, Herod, and you're just trying to prove to... Sorry, I'm interrupting you. But you want to prove to me there is a historical problem because Herod, and then you're just going to go on to... No, I'm, uh, here's my claim. The author of Matthew fabricated history. Yeah? The au author of Matthew... Yeah, yeah. Two things here. This is going to demonstrate a few Matthew, things. Yeah. The, the author of Matthew definitely was not a disciple of Jesus. That's the first thing I'm going to demonstrate. The second thing I'm going to demonstrate, he falsifies history... And the third thing we're going to demonstrate can't be the word of God. And then if it's not the word of God and it's not eyewitness testimony and it's not a disciple of Jesus, why do you care what Matthew says?